Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. In today's video, we're just going to make another batch of sausage. We already made a batch just right now, finished it. As you can tell, we're starting a new batch. I've got fat, I've got a liver, and I've got about 10 pounds of deer meat that this guy took out with a 243. <laughs> well, at least I didn't damage it. At least you didn't damage it. Now, let's be clear that this liver was not from your deer. Your liver went into the last batch of sausage. Matthew McGee killed this deer today, so it's 100% fresh. Now, what we're making is jalapeno cheddar sausage links. What this video is about is how to make jalapeno cheddar sausage links that aren't too hot. I was told by a certain grace that my sausage was too hot. And she's gonna be coming, she's gonna be eating sausage here at my house. So mangalitsa fat is our fat of choice. I've got three, I thought I had four, but I've got three pieces of it here. I've got my meat. We're gonna run all this through the grinder real quick, and then we're gonna mix in all of this right here. You don't want to miss that. All right, here's the part of the video where we show you how to make your jalapenos not so hot. Usually we put the whole thing through the grinder, seeds and all. You saw that in the previous video. We like that, but some people can't tolerate that level of heat. So we're going to cut them open and we're going to get these seeds out. These, Mary, my daughter, grew these and wow, what a bunch of seeds. She, she's got some jalapenos here that are wanting to reproduce. We'll just put it that way. After we get the seeds out, we're just gonna put them in this bowl over here. And in just a minute, I'm gonna show you how to get the heat out of the pepper. All right, here's our peppers. That's what we're gonna use in this batch. Now here's how you get the heat out of them. I've got the very finest dishwashers in the whole world working here. First thing I'm gonna do is get all that hot pepper off my hands. Oh boy, I got a cut on one of them and it was eating me up. All right, here's what you do. Take your peppers, they've got no seeds in them. Fill your bowl up with cold water. Rinse them around. Rinse them around, dump that off. Look at the color. Color's coming out of that water. <clears throat> we'll do it again. And not too much color in the water this time. One more time. The heat's almost out of these things. I'm gonna let them sit for just a little bit and then we're gonna get to grinding. All right, we're gonna put a piece of mangalitsa fat in there. Deer meat. And a jalapeno, a cool jalapeno. Piece of liver. Dear me, and I can hear you now. Why in the world do you ruin your sausage by putting liver in it? If that ruined it, I wouldn't do it. I can tell you right now, this liver is only going to add a deeper body of flavor. It's not going to taste like liver. Dear me, going in. Jalapeno. Liver. Fat. All right, we're gonna throw it on a time lapse just as soon as this goes down the hatch. Whoa. Got it ground the first time through. Uh, the way I season my sausage in a way that I can do it pretty close to always the same. I have to get it out here and get it about this thick down. Now at this point you can still see the liver mixed through it. When we grind it through the second time it won't be there. So if you want to Caleb you can take that uh, plate out and put the small one in. Clean up the blade. The small one? I thought he washed it. Yeah, 
Well, we'll find it. In the drain. Okay. So I'm going to wash my hand, and then I'm going to start putting my seasoning on. Okay. To me, the base of every sausage is salt. We're going to try not to over-salt it because we're not mixing anything else in here. Salt it just like as if you would, if you were going to cook it. All right. Next, I just absolutely love paprika. Smoked paprika. That's something that I can't get enough of in my sausage. Which way does the plate go? Does the blade go? This way? The blade goes flat out, flat side out, yeah. And there we go. Nice paprika. Hey, we're going to go with a little turmeric. Turmeric is known to be a little uh, powerful. So we're not going to just overload it, but we are going to put it in there. Time of management. That is what we need. Got to open up a different hole. Yeah, time people, management. Yeah, because the people that um, eat it, they want time. They want time. Give me some time. If you've been following this channel for long at all, you know we made our own seasoning, our own spice, out of the woods. We just went out and cut ourselves some sumac berries off of a staghorn sumac tree. And that, my friend, is a Middle Eastern spice known as zaytar. And I'm telling you, it be good. It be good and good for you. They say it might help to take away inflammation. At this time, we're going to go with black pepper. I'm not going to go extremely heavy on it because I don't want Miss Grace to get too hot in her mouth. And at this point, we have rubbed sage that I purchased in Muddy Pond at the general store. It is very aromatic and fresh. And we're just going to rub that all over this. Just like this right here. At this time, we're ready to grind. You always have to say time, don't you? Time. At this time, we're gonna grind. Let's give this boy something to grind. Now fill it up and I can put it in. Fill it up, you can put it in. Why does it sound like this? Did I not do it right? Did you put the flat side out? Oh, oh, I forgot to tell you. This this groove here goes down over that thing right there. See? Oh. There's a bump right there. Yeah. It has to go like that. I forgot to tell you that. So. Now you know. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be some kind of good. Just as soon as we get ground in here this round, I'm going to stir some cheese in it, and we're going to fry up a little patty of it, and we're going to try it. Time for time lapse. it up. Got a good smell. We're fixing to see if it's good. Uh, the other two boys aren't in this taste test because they just took off for the hunting woods. This guy's got him a deer already. This guy's got him a deer already. I've killed a couple deer already. The other boys are dying. It kills them that they haven't killed a deer yet. Does it need more salt? 
Sure tastes like it to me. Yeah. Need more salt. More salt. As far as spicy, I think we're good. She ain't gonna think it's too hot. Yeah. All right. Let's get to work. I'm gonna get my meat here. More salt going in. Just like that. Something I do want to do, I want to add a binder to this because this is going to be stuffed in casing. So I want my binder in here to be pretty good. Like this right here. For a binder, what am I using, you say? Buckwheat flour. It's just as starchy as potato starch. This was five pounds of cheese. Between the breakfast sausage and this sausage, we used it all. Now it's time to start the stirring. The cheese is frozen solid through, so that's going to help bring the temperature of this back down if it got up a little too high, but it didn't. It's still frozen, half frozen when we ground it. All right, boys, bring out the sausage stuffer. see right there that is what we just finished up with so I'm hoping before this video's over that you'll see Miss Grace here trying this and giving us her opinion but for now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna link it up get it in the refrigerator overnight let all those seasonings and that binder and everything just come together and we'll get the smoker running and we'll cook them. all right the day has come to cook the sausages this is the not hot, this is the hot hot. So, not hot hot, but just good and warm. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw them in this smoker and let them get up to about 150 degrees. And we're gonna pull them out and put them in the ice water. Let's do it. All right, it would be easier to manage a smaller batch, no doubt. Okay, we're just gonna lay these out here back and forth, to and fro across the face. I've got a deer back in that right there. Cooking, we're gonna have people over today. And it's gonna be good. This is the last of the not hot. All right, this is the breakfast sausage that is stuffed and it is hot. Some like it hot some like it cold but nobody likes it in a pot oh yeah some might like it with pot i don't know all right yeah. fire's going good i'm gonna say this end will be done rather shortly i gotta get some ice water ready <laughs> This here is the spicy. This is the not spicy. Go ahead and take you a piece of that. You want to try you the non spicy or do you want the spicy? Oh, okay. What about you? Are you spicy? Well, you're gonna try the spicy. I don't think he's in the camera. Is he? I hate to make him get up. Okay, spicy. That's the spicy one. In my opinion, the spicy one has better flavor, but that's just my opinion. If you said it that way, I got to try both. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even spicy. This here, that was a batch that was about a 25 pound batch. I put 28 jalapenos, seeds and all. This batch was about a 
10 pound bags and I put four with no seeds and I soak them in water to take that heat out. So, yeah, he's good. Yeah, I like the heat. You doing the seeds? It's deer. It's almost a whole deer. Okay. Um, no mountain oysters. Uh, the only thing it's got in it that is, I would say, out of the ordinary, two deer livers. That just, to me, that just adds a little better deep flavor, texture. You can't taste it everywhere. Mm -hmm. And it also gives it iron. Mm-hmm. Liver is really good for you. Oh, it does. Yeah, it's got a good backbite on the, on the heat. But yeah. It's not, not mm -hmm. overly hot. And yeah. Hot. So the, the main seasoning in it was Legs brand sausage seasoning. Mm -hmm. and this one was not. That may be the lack of flavor. I, I used a bunch of paprika marjoram, thyme, a whole bunch of stuff. There's even zaytar, which uh, is that sumac that yeah, I yeah. dried in the ground. There's a bunch of that in there. Huh. This almost has more of that summer sausage taste. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Tasty. Give a crumb. This is the not spicy over here. You want the not spicy or the hot? Hot. Hot? Oh, all righty, son. No, you're my good <coughs> man. All right. Yeah. Go stand by All right. It's not any spicier than the pickles. No. I don't even know if it is as spicy as Wickles pickles. They're not spicy. They're not? Hmm. Interesting. Did you try a hot one? No. no. I did not <laughs> Okay, here's what I need to know for the video. Did I succeed and keep it not hot? Or was it too hot? It Give me it's mine. delicious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's all I wanted to know. And because if you said I did it wrong, everybody in the whole world would watch it. And they would laugh at me. And then they would stop watching your channel. And they would stop watching my channel. Or maybe more people would watch because they like to watch people mess up. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they would say Grace is a little picky. No, surely they wouldn't say Grace is picky. <laughs> How dare they even think that. Well, that's our sausage video. We're going to get on out of here. A lot of you asked for more sausage videos. So here you go. We're going to get out of here. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Bye. <laughs>